Hey, how's it going? And continuing on with my Hello World projects in Unreal Engine, I'm trying to use C++ classes to create Hello Worlds. It's just a little kick I'm on right now. And so we're in Unreal Engine 5.3, and we're gonna go to games. We're gonna go to first person. I'm just gonna leave it called My Project 11. And oops, we got a, the most important thing, make it a C++ project. And that opens up a whole can of worms when we do that. But that takes a little bit of time. It's going to compile it. It's going to, it's going to start Visual Studio in the background. And Visual Studio needs to be the most current version because you'll be getting messages from Unreal saying, hey, this version is out of date. I did this exact same tutorial about six months ago and I misspoke about C++. And I said some things that were not accurate. I think I called the scope resolution operator the special resolution operator. <laughs> but I'm just learning C++ myself. So I'm not just learning Unreal Engine, but I am learning C++. And I'm really trying to get down the next level, you know, but there's a lot to it. So I'm just taking it in bite-sized pieces. So that's why I'm doing this Hello World is because that seems like the most basic thing to know how to do. Okay, so now it started Unreal Engine, and now you'll see it says C++ Project. You'll see this C++ Classes folder over here in the Content Browser. There's a couple ways we can create our C++ class. It also, I won't click into it, but I don't know why I can't. This, it started Visual Studio too. But notice nothing's going on here right now. But something will be going on in just a second. So we're gonna create a C++ Classes which are heavily integrated into Unreal Engine. So, I mean, the whole thing's built on C++. We can come up here to Tools and create a new class, or we can right-click and create it. This is probably the easiest way. And we'll just go New C++ Class. Then it's going to ask us what the common classes are, and when they want us to choose a parent class, we'll just choose an actor because that's the most generic class there pretty much is. And we'll just leave it called My Actor, and we'll go Create Class. And when we do, it's going to pop us over into Visual Studio for a little bit, but it might take us back to Unreal Engine 2, so I don't know what it's gonna do. But right now it's creating live coding. Brought us back into Unreal Engine, and you'll see in the lower right corner where we have live coding succeeded. And what that means is that we do all our compiling within Unreal Engine. We don't do any compiling within Visual Studio. All we're gonna do in Visual Studio is write our code and save it, and then we'll do our compiling in here. For this, I'm trying to keep it really super simple. What we're gonna do is we are just gonna go into Visual Studio. This message pops up and just ignore it. And of course, this is our header file, our h.h file. And what we're gonna do is we do need to include something here. And if we don't, this will not work. So that's what I forgot to do and it was driving me crazy. So we've gotta include this one line for engine slash forward slash game engine. So we're gonna control C and control V and paste that in there. And we'll go ahead and save that. And we get a green bar. If we were doing something wrong, we'd be getting some squiggly lines, but I don't see any right now. It seems like usually they're bad news. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is real simple. And this is essentially a print string as a part of a debug. And this is, I have it already here and it's relying on what they call the global engine. And you can Google all this at on-screen debug message and it talks in more depth about the parameters, but we're just gonna go Control C and copy this. I'm gonna do that, I guess we're not gonna do that. And then I'll hit Control V and there's the code. If, parentheses, G engine, G engine, and there's an arrow operator, gets this functionality. And then it just, these are the basic parameters. And in here, we can just type in hello world. And I will briefly discuss this without hopefully offending anybody. This is just a key value. Next value is how long you want the message to stay on the screen. So we have 15 seconds. The F color, you can change this. It's yellow, it'll be yellow. And text is a macro, and it just allows us to pop in our text there. There's a longer version of this, but this is a short version of it. Now we see we get a red squiggly there, and it says it has no U object member but that's not gonna affect us because this is just a, like a print string. So, but I guess normally that would be an issue. So we're just gonna go ahead and save this. And then we're gonna jump back in over 
to Unreal Engine. And then we'll come down here where they have our compile button for our live coding. That's what they call it, right? Live coding, yeah. So watch, when I click this, watch what happens. It starts compiling, and hopefully we don't see red. We don't, and it compiled successfully. Yay! So then we just have one last thing we gotta do, is we're gonna come back onto the content level here. We're gonna right click, and we're gonna get a blueprint class. We're gonna go to all classes, and we're gonna search for my actor, which is the class we just made. It's this one right there, and we'll go select. And you can call it anything you want. I'm just going to call it New Blueprint. We'll save it. This is exactly similar to the last tutorial I just did. We're going to just drag this onto the scene like that. And then when I hit play, we should see Hello World up here in yellow for about 15 seconds. So let's hit play and see if that's what happens. Yes, it does. And so this is very similar to the print string. So that's why I'm saying it's a print string because this only shows up while you're in developmental. This wouldn't show up in the actual game in the final rendered product. This is Hello World number two. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you found it helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.